The Mini AV2 HDMI converter is a universal converter for this, because if this works, I'm gonna be a happy guy. So, how do we test it? The only thing that's left to do is put in an HDMI and hope nothing explodes because I'm a Sioux China. Yes, welcome to this special video today. I am just making a quick and dirty video. Yes, with two cameras because I can. That's the thing I do. I don't know why, but it's easy in the edit and it's a bit cooler because you have to stand out from the rest, right? So, what I want to make a video about is something that I haven't tried yet and somehow it sounds too good to be true because I ordered a... Oh, <laughs> the manual popped out in the cable. I ordered a mini AV2 HDMI converter thingy and it's only four bucks. So let's see what this thing is about. First off, we have a manual. This is very, 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 very big manual. Oh, that's it. The Mini AV2 HDMI converter is a universal converter for analog composite input to HDMI 1080p or 60 hertz output. Uh, no need to install drivers, portable, flexible, plug and play. So you put in the, the yellow, white and red and the output is 1 times HDMI. Let's take a closer look at the device. This is it. Mini AV2 HDMI. Upscaler. You got this, of course. Everybody's familiar with that. And then you got... Cool HDMI. And you got these amazing switches and power supply. I'm not even sure if that's gonna do a thing. For now it's set to 720p, but let's set it to 1080p. Because we can. But how do we get a signal input on the computer? Because that's the reason I bought this, is because I'm not planning on doing some Super Nintendo live streaming or something comparable to that. I just want to be able to do so whenever I want to. This does not capture any signal, it only converts to HDMI. It's cool, but doesn't capture it. So you can probably use this on a modern television. So, how do we test it? Well, first off, let's see if we can find a Super Nintendo. I think I found one. Let's put it over here for now and see if we can find the, the cables that go with it. And of course a controller. <laughs> Alright, I got the Nintendo hooked up. Everything works. Look, it powers on. Not every time it powers on it grants me a signal. Sometimes you have to fiddle with the cassette a little bit because this is not one of the best uh, Nintendos that I have. I have some others of these. This is the, the, the one that I have in reach. Uh, the other ones are preserved better. For now, let's switch it off. Let's see if we can get a signal through an Elgato. Although, I do expect some latency because if this works, I'm gonna be a happy guy. The AV2 HDMI converter needs power supply. So it is, it came with a little, little, tiny, teeny, tiny cable and it's a mini USB. It's nice. I think that should be enough. It's no special cable, it's no data cable because it's very, very, it's very thin. And the manual said, plug and play, no drivers need a. I'm gonna put it in one of my front USB ports. Let's put in the white for left audio, the red one for the right audio, and the yellow one for the CVBS signal. The only thing that's left to do is put in an HDMI. Alright, the HDMI is in. Prime time. I hooked it up. The Super Nintendo is connected to the Chinese thing, the converter, the HDMI converter, and I connected that to my Elgato. And now it grants us a blue no signal screen. I've never seen the Elgato do that before. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna try to start it and hope nothing explodes because I'm a Sioux China. If something happened. It said AV pal, let's reboot it. 
No way! It works, but... The delay is a bitch. It's like... Yeah, I remember there's a delay in the, um... In the Elgato. Let's see if we can fix that, but maybe before we fix it, we should scale this one a little bit down like this. I am capturing from my Super Nintendo for four dollars. That's insane. Let's see if it's playable with delay. The image is not the best image you could hope for, but but it's quite sharp. And to be honest, it's uh, uh, unless there is no movement, it's okay. Oh, the delay is killing me! Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing this is a time trial. Yeehaw! <laughs> All right, this is very cool. It works. We 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 have an image, but now we need to split our signal somehow. I know. But something that I forgot about is that the um, Elgato is not only a capturing device, it's a pass-through as well. And the output of the HDMI from the Elgato is not delayed. So let's hook that one up to that screen, because I have three screens! I'm such a spoiled kid. Oh, I hate this. Alright. All right. <laughs> it works! God damn it! I really am a bit flabbergasted, guys. Joshi all the way. Am I ever gonna live stream from this device? I have to keep in mind that I need to set a delay of 500 milliseconds, but that's nothing new to me. I do the same when I capture from an uh, Xbox One. <laughs> Fuckers. Because, alright, it's it's captured from a Super Nintendo, but the quality is even better than I expected already. Oi! Where did you come from? Yeah, oh, they jump ship their own stuff. I forgot about that. Pew! Right, let's see if all of the other games work work as well. I think it's the Belgian version of Tintin. That no signal screen over there is from the Elgato. Sorry, Marty. No way! See the delay? You can see the delay. Arf, arf, arf. It's Dutch. Ding, 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 ding. Well, screen quality isn't the best, and I'm not sure. Yeah, I might um, a little. Of course, I can invest in a device that splits the uh, AV signal to SCART or multiple SCARTs. I've seen those devices, they're quite okay, they work like a charm. But that way around, I can play on a old-fashioned TV screen without any quality laws or uh, something like this, but this works for me as well. I can play on that screen while I'm streaming while you guys see the input over there, so the possibilities are opening up. Spiel! Goof 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 goof. It's insane! It, it works great! Gain an extra life.
right guys, now that I know that this works, let me know in the comments what what are we gonna do with this great device because it works like a charm. Kill. Guys, to be honest, four bucks. I didn't see it coming that this was gonna be a working working device. I just took a gamble and I thought, well, if it doesn't work, we'll learn from that and maybe we someday should invest in a proper device that captures. I even tried some cheap USB drives that capture the uh, image like this to a machine as well. But converting it to HDMI is the way to go combined with an Elgato because Take a look at this, it's quite sharp, it's okay and it works. So, I'm gonna play some more games. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you next time on the next member only special. So, be sure to get a membership to this channel or tell your friends they should get a membership to this channel because you get access to videos like this. Alright, thanks for watching. I had fun, I hope you enjoyed this video. Special content. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Hey, this is Bart speaking. No, 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 I got no time to talk to you right now. I'm trying something insane. I'm making a member member only video for, for my friends on YouTube. Uh, what? Yeah, on, on a very important device on which you, you can convert your Nintendo signal to HDMI. Yes, the capturing possibilities and streaming possibilities are expanding with that device. Only four bucks, friend. Oh, you want to see more? More videos? Well, you can click over there, and there's one over there as well. And, well, I'm, I'm not even sure what we're making next, but... But I hope you enjoyed this video. Alright, guys, I need to go. I need to play some Goof Troop. See you in a bit. Alright.